Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, we had just discovered that uh, this little moon dial placement here actually houses a secret entrance. So, we're going to go down and find it. Well, her mother. <laughs> anyway, let's keep on going here. I'm a little sleepy. Uh... I've been kind of trying to fight a cold here, so I do apologize if I go a little bleh for a moment. There we go. All right, nice. Um, there we go. Good. And I assume this will open this. Yes. Yeah, it will. That is. Alrighty, there's some cool stuff in here. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Good point. We will use the utmost discretion. That is possible. Yeah, this is this is definitely a vampire's you know secret little place. All right. Uh, cooking pot. I don't think it'd be wise to use it. Considering there's no fire to cook with. What is that? Troll fat. Don't need that. Okay. We're just going to continue on. Holy shit, that's a lot of blood. Oh. Alright. Let's try and get these out of the way. Oh, good lord. Okay. There we go. There's some of them now. And that guy is running away. Oh, come on. Oh, you little shit. Okay. Let's, uh... There we go. There's my sword. Damn it. God damn it, Serana. I just got my sword out for it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Skeleton iron ingot. Okay, I could use that. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Nope, he's gone. Uh, let's uh bring this guy back. Why not? There we go. Just because I want to get that. Uh, skill up. There we go. That's the word. There's the word my brain refused to put out. Uh, take that. That's not necessary. Alright, we're good. Oops. Tyrong Skeleton. <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's up ahead. Uh, those can be hurt hurtful to you, so let's try to avoid them the best we can. Oh! Okay. That's always fun. Oh. Oh. It looks like I'm getting the beating there. Oh! Right through the midsection. Ooh. Brody. Take all this. Malachite ore I do not need. Well, there's our skeletons. They were just hanging back for some damn reason. Okay, that was weird. Alright. I assume there's going to be more of those gargoyles up here. Oh, and there's going to be some skeletons too, apparently. Okay, down that one goes. My guy's just swinging with his hands. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, for crying out loud. That's ridiculous. Let's just open this door. Okay. There we go. Easy. Uh, there we go. Take all the golden lockpicks. Anything else of value in here? No, not particularly. Nope, not at all. It's in the barrel. Yeah, 
Uh, useful. Okay, we're good. That's Serana skeleton. So at least it's not my skeleton being stupid. All right. Uh, let's bring this one with us. Why not? There we go. Um, bring my sword back. Let him. Yeah, there we go. Now it'll have a sword on him at least. Oh, wrong button. Okay. What's this? Woo! Take those. Yeah, you did hear something. I'm pretty sure you did. In fact, I'm hearing it right now. Whoa! Okay, there's that one. Okay. That was rather quick. Take all that. I'll use that gold ore for sure. Okay. Okay, I didn't mean to do the wimpy shout. That was an accident. Oh, jeez. Owie. You asshole. Go down. Alright. Oh! The skeleton up there. I can't really reach it. I'll just let them take it out. There you go. And there's a door here. It's another locked one, so there must be some goodies in there. Up, up a little further this way. Yeah, that'll do it. Nice. No! Oh, wait, yes. Um, draw the true shot. Quite a bit of gold. Lockpick and a grand soul gem. Okay. I'd say that's worth it. Just a little bit. Um... Oh. Wow, he's a strong one. I'm kind of tempted just to fireball him. Well, firebolt him to death. Just to see how well he holds up to it. Oh, oh come on. I guess I ran out of magicka. Uh, where? There we go. Oh, that one's down. Oh. There we go. Well, okay then. That worked. Kind of. Um, what is this guy? That's Serana's. Okay, so... I did not mean to take the supple ancient Nord bow. Uh... Don't know why I have all these arrows. Probably the arrows that were shot in me. There we go. Drop that. And we'll bring this guy. Because he's right here. And he's actually pretty good. Okay. That said, I just want to check around real quick. If I'm not missing anything good. Just to make sure. Uh, let's bring Firebolt back. I want to run magic for a little bit. Uh, that's an empty one. That's what I assume might be a gargoyle. Oh yeah, this is the one we just walked past. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Jeez, bus. Well, there goes Serana's. Alright. So this was the right way. Okay, this was the plot. Alright. Uh, some bed got impaled by a support. Alright. Guess that's not going to be useful to sleep in. For some reason, it's not letting me dual cast. There we go. There we go. Down you go. Alright. And nothing else really going on, apparently. Um, yeah, there's nothing going on this way. I guess it must be a go around to, to get to them. Probably. Uh, if they come from behind us, I'm going to be a little mad, because I'm pretty sure we left no one standing behind us. 
Okay, let's get going a little bit further. I'm, I'm definitely sure that one's going to wake up. I'm sure of that. And I'm pretty sure they resist magic pretty well, so I don't want to... Really? You're not going to wake up? Okay. Pull that chain, then. Probably going to... Now you wake up. There we go. And down. Final. Get. Now I think we're pretty much clear. Uh, yeah, that's not the one I brought up. Where'd the one I brought up go? Oh, well. Oh, there he is. No, that's Serana's. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Now uh, we pulled the chain there. So I don't know. Oh, it pulled. It opened the door over here. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, that ended up not working. Down you go. And that is worthless body. Okay. Take down the gargoyle brute. There you go. And another locked door. This one's expert this time. Alright. That's gonna be something. Ha! There we go. And it leads basically to a weapon room. Alright. Um, Imperial bow binding. That's not entirely useful. I'll take it anyway. Elven axe of expelling. That has a lot more value. Thusly a lot more useful. And we got a bunch of ancient Nord weapons here. Which would be nice if I was making the uh, ancient... Uh, heroes, or was it like Nord heroes weapons? Which I could do. I could do since that, uh, finishing that quest line. Um, I think this might be the right way forward. I'm gonna drop that, uh, yeah, Imperial Bow binding because it's just unnecessary weight. And down you go. That was quick. You're gonna break in half, like, instantly. And this one's probably going to be a little more tough. Yep. Oh, jeez. This one's going to have spells. Oh, this one's dead. Down you go. All right. Woo! That was some. Although I think I have now filled up the majority of my, uh... Yeah, that's, that's what the issue is. Ugh, excuse me. Drop that. I don't want them filled with common. I don't want them still filled with, you know, the one that they're supposed to hold. Now, I guess those ones hold the, uh, I guess those ones hold common souls, and that's why I've been filling those up so fast. I'm pretty sure I was pretty significantly high on our close, common souls, sure. gems. You're, we're getting close, you're sure. Okay. As long as you say you're sure... I'm going to believe you, because you know this place better than I do. Even though you said you don't really know this area. Alright, let's look over here, see if there's anything special going on. There's a door. I'll open this. Okay. It's another creepy room, just as pretty much the rest of the place is. Uh, it's a cure poison. Eh, kind of useful to have at the house. If only for RP reasons. For the we'll probably run into something she's not supposed to. Okay. What are we doing here? Up we go. And... I don't think I missed any areas. I just don't think so. This guy's going to break apart. I know that. Or maybe not. Maybe this one and this guy. Maybe that guy too. Oh, you shit hit. Right in my face. How dare you. 
Uh, I just realized I forgot to loot some of the gargoyles. <laughs> Oops. Um, let's see if we can... Yeah, we can resurrect this one. Cool. That's nice to know. Okay. Down this one goes. Uh, loot him real quick. Yeah, now we have enough gold for that one thing. For, you know, smelting. Vampire Royal Armor and Silver Sword. Didn't expect to see Silver Sword. Oh. There we go. He's down. Woo, another gold ore. Nice. Yep, uh, just as I suspect, suspected. I speak for a living. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. If you say so. Let's see if there's anything useful. Empty wine bottles. Well, that's nothing useful for me. Still a bunch of empty wine bottles. Um, We're getting close. Sure. Candlestick. This is the only one not lit. Well, you said it, not me. There we go. All right. I think we're getting close to the end of this little maze. Yep, that if that marker's any indication, that's true. And it's a bunch of stairs on the way up. All right, here we are. No enemies as far as I can see. Okay. That's this has to be it. It has to. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. Good point. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Let's yeah, it does around. feel something. Feel there like has to something. be something here that tells us where she's gone. Like a journal or something? What exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. So, yes, a book. Gotcha. Uh, your mother maintained quite a laboratory here. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. Mm -hmm. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room. But nothing that even comes close to what's here. What did she research? Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. Looks like. To what end? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Yeah, that's true. Uh, did your mother keep gargoyles here? Because apparently that's what we were dealing with. Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. I she didn't think that. Fascinating. Not at all. That, I don't know why you thought that. <laughs> I was thinking that, but okay. What what part of my character really says that I'd be thinking about that? I, I'd really want to know. <laughs> now, uh, tell me about your family. There's not a whole lot to tell. You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough. Good point. Were you close with them? My father... No, not really. Mm -hmm. I did spend a lot of time with my mother, but she saw me more like a protege than a daughter. What about you? What were your parents like? Oh boy, now we're asking the tough questions. Uh, we didn't really get along. Best that I haven't seen them in a while. That's too bad. Do you know how they're doing now? Hmm. No, but we're all better off this way. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, black soul gem, nice. Soul gem shards, that's a, probably something special that we need. Wow, I'm getting a lot of black soul gems. Holy tits. Another grand soul gem, that's always nice to have. Um, let's double check our soul gems, actually. Really quick before we start doing anything else. Yeah, I figured I'd have one. These motherfuckers. Uh, the elixir of strength. Holy shit. That's very strong. A Bashian longfin. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. A 
Bishy and Longfin. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Vampire Dust, we can use that. Ice Ray Teeth, I'm pretty sure we could have a use for that. Like 95% sure. Ice Saber Cat, that that's useful. Uh, there's that. Do we have any Bleeding Cap? Do we have any Bleeding Cap around here? The Mirror's Rot, there's that. Uh, Dragon's Tongue. Hmm. And there's some things I can probably break down and enchant while I'm here before I start going anywhere. Uh, Charred Skeever Hide. Use that. Uh, Creep Cluster. I'm not entirely sure what I can use that for. I'm sure I do know, but I just don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, that's Purified Void Salts. That's unique. Uh, there we go. Salt Pile. It's River Betty. Take all of this. There we go. I just want to gather all the ingredients. Really? That's basically all I want to do. Uh, that's finely ground bone meal. That, so it's more finely ground than this, is what you're saying. Okay. That's nice to know. Let's see. Try and look for a special looking book. Oh, this is nothing special. I thought it would be something that I could use. Huh. The Larica's Journal. There it is. There it is. We're good. Akon's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to so much as listen to a word I say. I've become less of a wife and more of an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. Yep. That, that's a... That's a marriage in trouble, all right. 28th last seed. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula it can be sustained indefinitely. Soul cairn. I wonder what, wonder what that's for. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient, something of sufficient potency that I can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance whether I endure them a steady supply of souls or ensure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkon's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here, forever if need be. The third of Hearthfire. I've done it! After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and following me into the soul cairn. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salt, and soul gem shards. Using the proper measurements, place the above in the silver lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. So her mother did put her there. Okay. I'll show this to Serana in a bit. Let me just... What the... That's a word I have... That's a title I've never read. Okay. Alright. But I think we're going to do that in the next episode. Anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.